and it's gone. I have no clue where it is. And I think it's much clearer as well. One of my subscribers had suggested it on a well-being and in the mental health level. And it looks like it is working. So um, I what I have right now is one of these things here. You know what's funny? In an attempt to show you these, to show this to you guys, I accidentally turned it off. Uh, I put it to mute, and here I am talking, and you guys can't hear anything. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I got one of these little mics that will hopefully help in sort of me not having to talk so loud. And I think it's working right now. Yeah, it should be. Uh, one of my subscribers had suggested it because... Sometimes when I'm driving, when the window's down or when the fan's going or something, it's very difficult to hear me. And audio is such a huge component when it comes to these YouTube videos. And here we are. We've got some audio happening. So I want to check the video again to make sure. I'm still very new at this. I'm not sure if it's actually working. I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, it's just me talking and you can't really hear what I'm saying. Okay, so it gives me a message saying this recording via USB, and I think it's working. I, I am noticing kind of like a slight delay in terms of when I'm saying something and when the when I do a preview and when the, my voice comes out. So I'm not sure how good of a quality this will be, but this is my first time out. If you guys, if it sounds clear and you guys like it, so far I like it. Uh, you know, I don't have to sort of like talk so loud right and i think it's much clearer as well so uh what are we talking about today uh, a couple of things uh one is uh, my minivan obviously and also uh why i chose a minivan over let's say a cargo van at this time in my minivan life journey okay and there I go again. And you guys probably noticed that I'm doing this kind of thing to turn off the, the video. And the reason for that is I don't know where I placed a little clicker. I had it up here and I placed it somewhere and it's gone. I have no clue where it is. And, you know, maybe it's not that bad. I really don't know. I think you guys are probably already used to me kind of turning everything off like this. You know, granted, it is much more convenient for me, but, you know, it's not a big deal, I guess. So one thing's for sure when it comes to my YouTube videos now is I'm sort of learning how to sort of make the production a little more streamlined. And what I mean by that is my first initial set of YouTube videos, I would just uh, shoot them, but not really think about the thumbnails. The thumbnails is a part of YouTubing. <laughs> is that even a word? YouTubing. Um, Whenever you make these things, you have to put in a thumbnail. I find that if I put in a thumbnail that looks good, you know, I, I tend to get more people viewing it, which, you know, hopefully they'll be able to use the information that I'm actually providing. Okay, so uh, let's, talk about, let's talk about the minivan and why I chose a minivan when I first started. Uh, one of the reasons why I did choose a minivan is because I didn't have too much of a choice in that I had a very small budget. Uh, I had to get something right away. It was the, it was pre-pandemic and I didn't know the pandemic was coming, but at that time in my life, uh, back in 2019, early 2020, I needed a place to essentially, uh, uh, one, uh, to crash out in after I do one of my trail runs. I was training for a Spartan race. I don't know if any of you are familiar with it. It's called obstacle course racing. I really love it. It's a lot of fun. It's one way for me to sort of challenge myself, my body and everything. Um, it's good for my mind and it's good for my mental health. And interestingly enough, when I started to build up my van, I, I had a no build. Okay, that's how you start. And then you get an idea of how these things work. I also was able to use it for, for work breaks and everything where I could relax in my van. And it's definitely much larger than a car. Before this, I had a Honda Civic. So you can imagine how small that is, right? It was a 2001 Honda Civic. It was tiny. And compared to that, this is a mansion. 
so you know so as it turns out i you know, I, 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 you know, I would go on my run and I would go on my Honda Civic and I would try to crash out and it was somewhat comfortable, but definitely not as comfortable as what I've got here. And this is where I said, you know, I would like to get a, a, a minivan. And I thought, well, should I get a cargo van or a minivan? And one of the things that I was thinking of before, you know, jumping into this was how... Like, I didn't know enough about the whole van life thing. I didn't know enough about, you know, how to fix up a van and how to turn it into a comfortable, like, home away from home. So what I ended up doing was I did a bit of research. I did the whole YouTube thing, and I came across several uh, van lifers in, in a minivan, one of which was Foresty Forest. If you haven't checked out his channel, his is one of my most favorite channels, and he's in a minivan. Well, originally it was a minivan. Now he's in a cargo van. He sort of leveled up, and you know, you know, good for him. Uh, and and I can see myself at some point going that route. But when I first started, it was a minivan. Uh, there's also another Canadian uh, van lifer named uh, Chrome, uh, Van City Van Life. So that very good, uh, incredibly entertaining individual. And I, I really liked a lot of his stuff. And he's in a you know cargo van. Uh, for me, I am still in a minivan. And you know, that's probably because my no my motivations are different. My circumstances are different. Uh, I work full time. Uh, I essentially have a home base. And I can see myself in the future going full time for several months at a time, especially when I head out west. And if you've been on my channel for any length of time, that is one of my impending goals that's one of my goals for this whole thing anyway anyway you know so going back to the whole uh, you know why i chose a minivan and so i was trail running i was training for an ultra and essentially what happened was the pandemic happened and not sure if you know the pandemic if you haven't then you've probably been living under a rock or or something right but look it happened we all dealt with it and so far it's you know we're somewhat going back to normal I think there's still some residual issues that are happening. I won't get into them, but if you've been around, there was a pandemic and it changed how people lived. It changed how people perceived a lot of things. And it, for me, it did change my schedule and it changed my plans as well. So, so the pandemic happened and I had got my minivan and I started doing my van build. And it, one of the things that I had was I had a budget and the budget was pretty much zero, like very, very low budget. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. And everything you see here was from found free or near free materials. And I've been extremely, extremely fortunate in that uh, people have helped me out everything from provi providing materials to advice to, to essentially uh, helping me build this out as well. Like it, Ultimately, I was the one to build everything out myself. Uh, I, I do consider YouTube YouTubers that, that showed how to do this stuff to be a big help. So, you know, thank you very much for that. There's some really generous people out there that were able to, you know, give me uh, some solid advice in terms of my electrical and in terms of, you know, what it's like you know, living in a minivan, okay? You know, granted that... Um, I, well, for me, I can pretty much live anywhere, okay, as long as it's got the basics. And, you know, this has the basics. It's got a way for me to cook. It's got a way for me to sleep. I've got a bed system that I've sort of modified so many times. It's not even funny. Um, and I have a feeling I'll probably modify it again because I would like it to have a larger bed. I do have this kitchenette, which has been really helpful. And from the beginning, uh, I thought I needed a sink, and I'm finding that I probably won't need a sink. So, uh, so I got this minivan. Sorry about that, guys. I, I ran out of room, so I deleted some more video. Hopefully, video that I won't need later on. But yeah, I, sh I shoot a lot of video on this camera. I do have another, uh, like sort of like older camera, but the quality just isn't there. You, you could, you could, you could tell. But, but it also has more room. You know what? I'm looking at a chipmunk right now there it is there's a chipmunk 
usually with the clicker i don't i don't have to do that but uh, hopefully i'll find it um oh one other thing uh, i think one of the reasons why my my van kind of like looks the way it does maybe more roomier as well i think i mentioned it earlier as well was it's because of the camera angles as well so keep in mind it's a tiny space if you've ever been in a minivan um there's not a lot of space here really this is good for a solo traveler uh, if you're going to have two people i think a pro master or something much larger a cargo van is probably going to be a, a better choice but going back to the whole minivan thing and why i chose a minivan um it's also easier to drive for me i can park just about anywhere now i do have solar panels so that kind of gives it off in terms of stealthiness but you know it's been over two years of I've had zero problems in terms of just parking anywhere and, and sleeping. For example, you know, I just, I'm here at a park, right? I mean, no issues, right? Um, I've, I've only got the knock once and I made a video about that and it wasn't a big deal. And maybe I'll get it more. I'm not sure. But at this point, you know, it's not an issue. Um, I, I don't consider myself a full-time van lifer. I am a part-timer. I have a home base. Um, I have a way to right now uh, make money by working full time, but I hope to at some point uh, do some remote work as well, especially if I'm going to be traveling full time and living full time in my van. And I, I don't know when that's going to be. That could be in one year or two years or maybe longer or it might ne never even ha happen. I, I actually don't even know. And right now in my life, the way, the way it's going I actually don't don't really care right now. I'm I'm happy where I am, and I think that's the most important thing. Is you know whatever you're doing, I think you should be happy in what you're doing. You should be proud of how far you've come. Um, and it's always a challenge, right? Um, every day is a new day, and there will always be challenges. And I know you'll want to give up. Like right now, I have a <laughs> man. I have a meeting. I have a, an appointment. I have to keep. So I'm going to cut it short. Guys, 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 guys and gals um, and everybody, I really appreciate so much. You, you have no idea. I am genuinely appreciative of the fact that some of you guys comment, uh, you view the video, and I just appreciate a lot of you guys. And it really has helped me on a on a well-being and in the mental health level um this this van has been be, has been my fortress of solitude and i appreciate all the support i get from you guys I, I i wish my videos were more exciting in terms of me hiking up a mountain or something or 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 going on a trail or something but i realize uh, that's not for me I'm, I'm not one to sort of constantly set up cameras and run across the the camera to, to show this like a sort of like a documentary of what i'm doing and maybe one day i will maybe one day i will maybe i'll be able to do that but right now i'm just not in that mode i'm just not in that frame in my little life right now um you know maybe one day right uh, but everything is done in this little van and this is like my little studio and if you have any questions please let me know and once again i appreciate the support and thank you very much and remember, you are awesome because you are. You could do stuff. Okay, I think we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye-bye.